So big reversal today in the market. Head fake higher. I want to show you the results on the day. Right now we still have some positions in the 200K portfolio, so those could change. Minus 800 in the 200K portfolio with big big highlights in the commodity. Some really good trades in the commodity. The stock indexes, which have been our strength, are kind of our weakness right now with this market. I'm going to explain why. 50K portfolio minus 450. Once again, the crude oil and gold did well in the 50K portfolio, but the NASDAQ and E-mini S&P did not. We had this sell off the last 30 minutes of the day yesterday. Today, the market gapped right back up into that range I was talking about. I told you there was a range in this market, this slow choppy range. It gapped right back up into that range, and it kind of stayed there, and you didn't really see the selling until the last hour. So yesterday, the last 30 minutes sold. Today, the last hour sold. You say, well, the selling started up here at the high. You can't really tell that selling is starting up here. It's, that is the high. But you can't really tell it's not just chopping around. You can't really tell that selling, uh, even here you can't tell that it's selling. You, you could look right here and say it's, a, it's about to bounce back into that range and move higher. Um, but once it breaks down here and continues, you know, basically the last 30 minutes is, is when the real selling occurs. If you, if you, if you look at it carefully, in hindsight, you have to be careful because when you look at things in hindsight, Things seem more obvious than they do in real time. In real time, it's hard to see this until you know maybe the last 30 minutes. You can tell it's really selling off. And we haven't had capitulation in a while. So we've had a couple of days where the market is head faked higher. It's postured higher. The advanced decline line is up at plus 2,000. And today the FOMO buyers were jumping in. You heard the saying, amateurs trade the open, the pros trade the close. And you see the amateur buyers jumping in, buying, buying. They're afraid to miss out on the next big rally. Um, it's just kind of an old uh, pattern, though, with with monetary uh, policy tightening to fight inflation. Um, and so you saw the, the selling into the close. We have a capitulation selling because the capitulation selling, I don't think you see this much controlled selling. I don't see you see as many head, head fakes. Uh, you see more uh, harsh selling. But we are getting some closes on the lows the last few days. And so that's rare as well. We don't typically see that. So there's more, definitely more selling. The VIX is higher, but if you're watching this during the day, if you look at this in the day, it's like, wow, that would have been an easy short. But it, if you're watching all the moves during the day, you're watching the market internals, it's still postured higher, and it looks like the market is about to move higher. The highlight is soybeans plus about $1,000 per contract. No trades in natural gas. Crude oil, we had some highlights at Esther Counter Trends. Uh, Cobra Crude was down on the day the last two days, aggressive version. And then we have Cobra Crude Swing, which um, got in yesterday on a nice pullback, market pullback further, and it continued to diverge to the highs, and it's diverged now to the lows. And so crude oil continues to be a market that uh, refuses to break out to the upside. Uh, wild swings from highs to low, and so um, we still are in this trade. It could reverse here and go back to highs at any time, or it could stop us out. Um, but the SR counter trends were the highlight. Could have used some bigger profit targets on those. Copper, no trades on the day. Uh, silver, third day in a row higher, no trades. Gold, three SR counter trends higher on the day. Those are highlights. Uh, Asia Gold 4 is long around break-even. Gold Reversal is long around break-even as we take those positions overnight. Um, NASDAQ, NASDAQ, so it postured higher. You see that in gap continuation. Minus uh, 725 on the day per contract. EVP 1 minus 1,025 per day. Um, stock index swing plus 475. And then SR Counter Trend 2. Um, lost on the day. Uh, you see... Short of the open, you get the, the amateurs buying the open, the pros selling the club. We need a much, much bigger stop loss. Even a $2,000 stop loss would not have worked today on this. Uh, a delayed entry. This worked yesterday, but not today. And then Esther Counter Trend 2, the same thing. It worked yesterday, but not today. Um, and then Cobra 3 got in. Market was poised to go higher uh, based on a lot of the patterns we look at, and then it rolled over. So two days in a row, the market looks like it's going to go higher, and then rolls over at the end of the day. And... If you're looking at it at the end of the day, it looks like an easy short. But if you're trading it intraday, it looks, uh, except for the last hour, it looks like it's about to head higher. Uh, 
based on most indicators. ES had some nice long trades overnight, 60 minute breakout, captured its profit target, Night Trader hit its profit target, Fix OC hit its profit target, all on the long side. And 60 minute breakout is 9 for 11 on the 9 out of 11 of the last trades. This was in a really tough drawdown. And so that the past week it's been on a roll. And I thought it would get another short in. You see um, how it's had some really good success shorting this market. I thought it would get another short in. We could have used a bigger profit target or dollar trailing on that. And so it's nice to see this type of selling in the market. It's long overdue. Um, I believe in two-sided markets. Uh, and so we're getting some of that. So uh, ES, long, overnight longs and 60-minute breakout shorter are a highlight. And the uh, gold SR counter trends, crude oil SR counter trends are a highlight. And the soybeans trade is a highlight. And once again, down on the day, let me show you the final results. So these are not the final, final results on the 200K because we have a long crude oil and two long golds. Uh, but minus 800 based on the current market. Minus 450 on the 50K portfolio. Let's look at the results for that. So 50K portfolio, SR Counter Trend 3 gold and crude oil hit the profit targets. SR Counter Trend 2 ES lost and covered 3 lost. Three, uh, six losers in a row on Cobra 3. One of our top strategies. I want to show you the equity curve on that. So here's an eight contract set up on Cobra 3. And here's what the equity curve looks like. Six losers in a row. Um, and so typical. We've seen this before. We've seen these kind of drawdowns before. In the last, this is just, I guess, the last six or seven months. So this is kind of the, mo the largest, I guess, straight down losing streak we've had in the last six or seven months but we've had uh, bigger losing streaks before in the past and so it's a good time it's within the uh, it's within the trend line of this equity curve time for a uh, potential winner in this one that could be big and so uh, if you're considering adding to Cobra 3 or starting Cobra 3 now could be a time to do so and so um, one of, the, one of the reasons, in my opinion, this market has been so hard to trade is because it continues to be propped up and postured higher when it's trying to go lower. Commodity markets are supposed to go higher right now as well, and they are being pressured down. Uh, stock indexes are supposed to be going down, and they're being supported. Um, you know, it's, it's the, uh, you know, we want, we want higher equity prices and lower costs, but... The market has to be allowed to freely trade, and it hasn't been allowed to do that with all the stimulus. And so, we're getting that we're transitioning into some more truthful price action, and it's very volatile. And the market is 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 uh, going about it in a way that's it's kind of kicking and screaming um, for the dip buyers. And so that is why it's so volatile and why it's so choppy right now. And um, those are the trades on the day for. January the 20th, 2022. Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks, we share our losing streaks, as well as market updates, strategies, and coding tips.